Alright guys, so welcome back. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you for all the support. Uh, I did receive a few comments about my audio volume, so I have bumped it up. Uh, so you might have to excuse me for the noise, I'll try and remove it as best as I can to my abilities, I guess it is. Um, so yeah, today we're working a little bit on a way to switch perspective and to incorporate a hunger system of some sort. Um, it's pretty simple, it's just about adding a value that's decreasing slowly but constantly or increasing depending on how you want to work it. Uh, for example in my current project I have a hunger and thirst system but they go up instead of down. Um, some people prefer it the other way but that's up to you. I'll show you both ways. Um, we're also going to be doing um, switching from first person to third person with a button click. Um, not much else to speak of there right now, but yeah, so far that's what we're going to be doing today. And I'd like to thank you all for the support. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Alright, I'm back. Uh, give me a second, just have to switch to a monitor. There we are. Alright, awesome. So let's begin. We are starting by being able to change the camera perspective of the third person character in this um, example. There we go. Alright, uh, first of all, let's open up the character. Controls, controls, controls. Alright, let's do this easier. Let's go edit, project settings, and input. Add a new action mapping. Change the name to change camera perspective. Alright, key shall be. Let's go the original Daisy style, so. Um, Add enter. No. No. Wait, where is it? Alright, no, sorry guys, I'm a little bit sick, so. Uh, we're just looking for the numpad. There it is, no block. What's in this area here? used to be <sighs> all right let's make it um no 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 let's go for insert okay so insert will be the mapping all right so that's done save First things first, we have to add a new camera. So we have this camera. Let's move that a little bit to the side. It's going to be 56 units. That looks good. And then a little bit down. Now this camera, boom. Let's actually be part of that. In the head socket. So we're going to scroll down to head and then we're going to attach it to the head. Okay, there we go. Compile and play. Uh, it's going to load up on screen. Let's give it a second. There we go. Alright, 
just load it again and here's Jovi. No, <laughs> Alright. So now the camera view is there. I just changed the walk speed for a certain little project I was doing, testing something out. But yeah, the camera perspective has changed. Uh, well, not the camera position. Position of the camera. Alright. As you can see, our menu still works. Take active movement. There we go. Compile. Awesome. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to click on mesh and we're going to add a first person camera. So we're going to say camera. And this is first person. So, first of all, let's attach it to the mesh. So we're going to just drag it on and then attach it to the head again. The head, change the position and the rotation. Alright, so first things first, we're going to turn it in the y axis by 90, negative 90. Yes. Oh fuck. There we go. Sorry about that. I always forget that my record keys are mapped to my numpad. Alright, so negative 90, and then let's say 90 here, 0 here, to be 90 over here. Also not? Be 19 those directions. There's 90, 0, and 90, uh, minus. Just try minus 90. 90 here, and 90 here. Okay, there we go. So now it's attached to the head. And we want to move it in the x axis by 11 units. Oh. Oh. This is 6 units. Or 8. How do you like it? 11. There we go. Okay, compile. And then we're going to press save. Now, the thing is, it's going to have a weird. It's going to have like a weird kind of angle to it. And right now we can't do anything with the camera. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down. Actually, just gonna search and type in active. Want to activate? Sorry. Disable that. Okay. And then enable use board control rotation. All right. Next, we're gonna go to event graph. Uh, on, on begin play. We're gonna add that. We're gonna add that. Only to begin play. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set this follow camera and the first person camera. So depending on which one you want active first. So let's say our follow camera is active first. So set active. All right, you active, true. And then exactly the same thing here. Set active, you active false. Alright, so that's the beginning camera. Now, when we say on, uh, on, you, what do we call it? Change perspective? There we go. On input action, change perspective. When I press it, I want to actually flip flop between the two. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, come up, select it, damn it. 
No, I'm going to paste it once and twice. Right, so we plug A to one, B to the other, and then we change it on B to be completely opposite. Alright. But, let's do this. So, Alright, so we can make a variable, a boolean variable, called third person actor. And that will allow us to flip between the two. I think should be good. Uh, so true is third person actor. Drag it out as I said and enable it. So that means that when third person is active, it will actually flip these two the other way first, and then this way, and then what you can do is you can take this and make a copy of it, drag it into false, and then swap them around again, but then we also have to set the actual third person. View. So then here, I'm gonna do, I hold Alt to drag, when I drag these nodes out, to do a set node. I just let that uh, be kind of easier. Right. Then, I'm gonna copy this, set it to false. Copy that again, exactly. But here, third person is not active. Here it is. Here it is as well. And here it is not. So compile, play, and now pressing insert. I should be able to switch the camera perspectives. Alright. But let's actually make this a little bit simple. Let's take this branch out. Because this should be able to work pretty easily as well. Oh, I'm pressing insert. There we go. It's a bit simpler. And less code, so less space is taken up. Alright. So, that's changing perspective done. No, hug the system. Okay, let's do this. Comment around this. Changing perspective. Uh, change the comment size then. There we go. Alright, let's do our hunger system. This is a very simple hunger system. So, event tick. Tick. Okay, so on tick, we're going to do our. First, we have to actually do that kind of system. So here, we're going to say custom event, and a custom event. And what we're going to do is we're going to name this event get hungry. All right. So on get hungry, what we're going to do is we're going to get um, we're going to say new variable called it player hunger. Alright, so it will be a float. So I'm going to go with mine, I'm going to change it from 0 to 100. So as the player goes on, he'll get hungrier and hungrier. So what we're going to do is we're going to first going to get the player hunger. Now you're going to add a branch. Okay, you're going to drag this branch out. Now you're going to say, uh, Greater than I think. Yeah, right. So if the hunger level is greater than zero, I mean it's greater than zero point. Uh, it's greater than one. Alright. So if that happens, then it's going to say kill. Or uh, well, yeah, kill. Uh, I 
let's do that. Yeah, we'll just open the level mid menu. Let's go up. Alright. If false. Alright. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get get time. Oh, we don't even need to get time. So what we're going to do is if false, we're going to go delay. Okay, and then after the delay of, let's say, two seconds, we will set the player hunger to uh, yeah, control to get, alt to set. So you hold control and drag it out, or alt and drag it out. Alright, so we're going to get, get player hunger, and then we're going to say plus, so float plus float, and let's say, so every two seconds he's going to get 0 0.05, so that's 5% five, 5 hungrier, but every two seconds, so we're going to drag that in there, alright, and then we're going to go back to there simple enough and then like also yeah, so this is the death condition code so if it's more than one all right so then here event tick then we're gonna say get hungry all right so it will get hungry and then compile and play okay now the only problem is we actually have to have a way to see that we're getting hungry so after setting player hungry, we're gonna print a string, and we're gonna append not the array append string. All right, so we're gonna say player hunger, and then the player hunger. There. Alright, let's try again. So every two seconds, play hunger 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.15. That will just keep going up. And you can change this value to whatever you like, the delay value. So if you want to change how quickly your player gets hungry, it's a very simple system, but if you want to change how quickly your player gets hungry, you change this duration, or you can keep the duration but change this value to be much, much lower. Alright guys, um, you can do the same kind of thing for thirst, um, not energy though, energy and health I'll cover in the next tutorial today, I just do not have too much time, so I will see you guys next time, thanks a lot. Alright, just one more thing before I go, I'd just like to say, um, please do leave a like, a comment, or even subscribe for future content. Uh, I'll we'll be filming these every Monday and Wednesday, maybe. Uh, it's just I have quite a bit of work to do, so it kind of I just do this kind of thing when I can. So yeah, thanks a lot. Please do leave a like or a comment uh, and tell me when you what you want to see next. Thanks a lot.